This channel rakes in over $90,000 a month and has amassed over 3 billion views by sharing educational animations. These videos not only impart valuable ideas but also tackle social issues and narrate historical stories in an utterly unique way. This channel has been around for a while but there's so much we can learn from them to build your sustainable faceless YouTube channels. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to start your own faceless YouTube channel just like Ted Ed with a specific focus on 3D animation style using AI. We'll cover every step of the process from creating your channel, laying the foundation for success to writing your script, crafting compelling narratives and creating realistic voiceovers, bringing your animations to life to producing stunning animation video and uploading your first video and how to monetize your content, turning your passion into profit. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have the tools and knowledge to kickstart your YouTube automation business. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Zini and on this channel, I create unique and result oriented tutorials on AI side hustles to help you generate passive income. Before we dive in, let's take a look at the video clip I created, which is exactly what we'll be making today. Ever feel like there aren't enough hours in the day to get everything done at work? Let's explore some simple strategies to boost your productivity. Start by prioritizing your tasks. Focus on the most important and urgent ones first. This can help you stay on track and avoid last minute stress. Don't forget to take short breaks. Regular breaks can improve your concentration and keep you energized throughout the day. <gasps> Effective communication is key. Clear and concise communication can save time and prevent misunderstandings. Have you checked on the team about the project they are working on? Not yet, I have been very busy. Try to reach out to make sure they are being productive. Lastly, keep your workspace organized. A clutter-free environment can reduce distractions and help you focus better. Implement these tips and watch your productivity soar. Remember, a productive day is a rewarding day. To create our channel, the first thing to do is to create a Gmail account if you don't already have one. Then sign into YouTube and your account will be essentially empty. Click on the icon and select create channel. But if you already have an existing channel, as you can see here, just click on the icon, then switch account, click on view channels, then click on create a channel. You'll be required to input a channel name. This is where our first AI tool comes in. Head over to ChatGPT and ask it to suggest 10 new YouTube channel names similar to Ted Ed. It'll give you a list, go through it and find the name that works for you. A quick tip, carry out a quick search on YouTube to make sure that the name has not been taken. We will be using the name Learning Lantern. By the way, if you already know how to create a YouTube channel, use the timestamp to skip over to the next step. Then ask ChatGPT to use the channel name you have chosen to write a short channel description, still using the TED Ed channel as a reference. The good thing about ChatGPT is that the memory updates, so it knows what you're talking about. Now we have our name and description. Go ahead to pass the name and click on create, and then go ahead to paste the description for the channel and save. Next, we will complete the branding for the channel, including the logo and the banner for the logo you can choose to use chat gpt but we will be using mid journey come to mid journey and use this prompt a one you can modify the prompt to suit your channel idea this is the image i created but before we go ahead to upload it let's quickly create the channel banner before we do that ask chat gpt to suggest 10 taglines for the channel. So we will be using this tagline where curiosity meets insight. Head over to Canva, choose a YouTube template, then modify it accordingly with your logo and tagline. This is the final banner I created. Go ahead and download the banner. Thereafter, simply upload the logo and banner. 
to the channel and that's it. The next couple of steps we'll be covering is the type of information people pay thousands of dollars in courses to learn, but you will be getting all the information for free. All I ask in return is to like this video and subscribe to the channel. The ability to create an outstanding video starts from the script writing process. But before we write the script, we need to choose a topic to talk about. Using the channel as a reference, ask ChatGPT to give you a multiple array of topics you can choose from. Once you choose a topic, ask ChatGPT to write a script about the topic and a breakdown of images for each scene. For this tutorial, we will be focusing on the topic work productivity. This is the prompt I use to generate the script and I will leave all the prompts in the description box. This is the final script we will be using for the next set. Now that we have our script written, next is to generate our voiceover. I will be using an AI tool called DopDub. It is an AI powered content creation platform offering tools like AI generated writing, human like voiceovers, animated avatars and professional video editing with auto subtitles. It simplifies and enhances content creation for marketers, educators and creators. Use the link below to sign up to follow along. Next, click on AI voiceover. Give the project a name and then paste your script in the box below. Before we make some modifications to the script, let's choose our voice first. Click on more voiceovers, choose English and American accent, then female because that would be our narrator for our video. For quality, I will be using ultra and then use this voice glinder. She sounds perfect and realistic for the video we are creating. Then click confirm. Normally for other AI voiceover tools, you might have to create the voiceover separately for using them. But in DubDub, using the speech functions at the top, you can modify the voiceover in such a way that you can still get multiple effects with one audio file. To do that, I will be using the pause tool to add pauses where needed and other elements like pitch or speed. For this script, I added a bit of pause and the length I needed in the place I needed them, then went ahead to play it. Ever feel like there aren't enough hours in the day to get everything done at work? Let's explore some simple strategies to boost your productivity. Start by prioritizing your tasks. Focus on the most important and urgent ones first. This can help you stay on track and avoid last minute stress. Once I was satisfied, click on the export button, chose the file format and download it. To make use of DopDub, it has a three day free trial you can get started with and then upgrade afterwards. I have also secured a discount which you can use when upgrading. You can get the link and all the details in the description box. I recently created a free checklist required to start a faceless YouTube channel. So if you want to have a document that you can also refer to, visit my website zinistudio.com where you can access your freebies. The link will also be in the description box. For this step, we will be using the tool called Create Studio. This is an animation tool that one can use to easily create Pixar style 3D videos without any tech or design skills. With this tool, you can create your custom 3D characters, animate them in 3D space, lip sync with audio, and even add your branding like your logo. However, it is not a free tool. They have plans that range from $27 to $47 per month, with the all access plan being the most value for money but I reached out to them to give me a discount for my subscribers and I was able to secure two. You can get lifetime access to the tool for only $67. This is a one-time payment or if you prefer the monthly or yearly plan, you can get 50% off on the all access plan. The links to both offers will be in the description box. Once you make a purchase, you will be able to download and install the application on your computer. Once you open the tool, you will be greeted with this interface. To create your animation, there are multiple ways to go about it. You can start from an existing template and modify it, or you can use the lighting builder where you can select different parts of different templates to build your base template before making adjustments. 
Finally, you can start from scratch by clicking on new project. For this tutorial, we will be using a template and make adjustments. Click on templates. I will be using this one. Select the 16 by 9 inches, which is the dimension for YouTube videos and click on start editing. The template will be loaded by the left bar at the very top. There are eight icons that represent different parts of the tool like media, studio, scenes, music, transitions, and so on. Under the studio, we have different tools from text to backgrounds to 3D creator to characters and so much more. In the middle, we have the screen page and below is the timeline that functions exactly like a video editor. In this tutorial, we will be creating the first scene in our script. Once you get a hang of how to create one, creating another scene is the same process. To modify the first scene, double click on it and you'll be able to see all the elements under the scene. Scrub through the timeline to see what the animation looks like. For our first step, we will be creating our narrator. I don't want to use the one in the template. To do that, click on Studio and click on 3D Creator. Select Lenka. Then drag and drop into the timeline. Let's first customize her before animating her. Click on the character and by the left bar, there's a customize bar that allows you to change how she looks. For the top, I will select a suit, bottom, select leggings, shoes, old boots, no hats. For hair, select quiff, glasses, select business. For accessories, select all the items you want to add. Then use the color to change the color of any part of the character. This is the final way I want the character to look like. Once you are satisfied with the character, right click and save as a preset. This will enable you to use the character in other scenes without having to recreate the character each time. Next, let's change the background to an office theme. Click on BG and change to black, move the BG down, then go to studio, then background, choose the office background you like and drag to the end. For the frame, I will delete it because I don't need it for this scene. I will also delete the text and buttons are well. At this point, let us bring in other actors in the scene, co-workers. Click on studio, then characters and bring to the timeline the Memoji girl and guy. Separate them. Then for the guy, we will choose his action to be him working on a PC frustrated. We will add one more action and stretch it out a bit because we want it to be a continuous action. Do the same for the girl. Now let's animate our character and make her walk in and talk like the narrator initially on the template. Click on the narrator, select action and select walking. Add a new action under and select talking. Go ahead and increase the character a bit. We still need her to walk into the scene, so reduce how long you need her to work. Right click, select add animation and choose position. These two diamond symbols will appear. You can move them around, but I will leave it as it is. Then take the character out of the scene and play it. You see that she walked in and then started talking, which is perfect. To finish up this scene, we need to add voiceover and lip sync it to the narrator and some sound effects. Go ahead and click on the media folder and import the voiceover we created in DubDub. Drag and drop it into the timeline. Clip to the voiceover of the first scene and place it in such a way that it aligns where the character starts talking. To lip sync, right click on it and sync to the character. I also want to add the sound effect of a lady walking in. You can check for sound effects under the music folder, under the effects tab, or if you already have one, upload it to the media folder and use it, then drag and drop the sound effect to the location of choice. We are good to go. Let's see how it looks on the main timeline. When we click on back to the main timeline, change the music under
corporate, I will choose good time, then drag and drop it on the timeline and reduce the volume a bit. Let's play and see how it sounds. Ever feel like there aren't enough hours in the day to get everything done at work? Let's explore some simple strategies to boost your productivity. This looks great. You can go ahead to create the remaining scenes of your script, just like I have done here. To save your project, click on the icon here, choose save as and save to the appropriate location of choice. Then to export our video, click on the publish button, choose video and MP4. For quality, choose the highest. For size, change to 3840 by 2160 and end with the last frame. Output file, select a location and name your video and click on save to render the video. Once it is done, you can go ahead and play your video to see how everything came together. Now our video is ready. It is time to publish it on YouTube. Before we go ahead, we need to create our video thumbnail. To do that, head over to Canva or any design tool of choice. Choose to use the size of a YouTube thumbnail, upload the images you want to use, and then go ahead to add a text box and type in, can be productive, watch this. We are going to keep it simple, similar to our reference channel. Once the thumbnail is ready, download the image, head back to YouTube. At this point, I will be using my account because I wanna show you some tips and tricks Beside the YouTube icon, click on create and go ahead to upload your video. Upload your thumbnail for the video title. We'll be using this for title optimization, description and tag. We will be using a vid IQ. I have the Chrome extension installed. So once I type in my title, I can click on this button and get multiple recommendations I can choose from. Before we add our description, let's get the tags for this video. Head over to the reference video and you can also use a vid to IQ. view and copy the tags the video is ranking for. Copy and paste it in the tag section. Once you do that, underneath the description box, you will see recommended tags. Click to add the appropriate ones and then click on generate. It will create multiple descriptions you can select from. Click to add and add other information you need people to know about. Then go ahead and follow the next steps. It is easy and then set it to private and save. When you are ready for the video to go live, you can switch to public and save and the video will be live. Before we dive into how you can make money, here is the summary of the steps we have covered so far. We used ChatGPT for channel creation and script writing, Midjourney for logo creation, DubDub for our voiceover, Create Studio for the animation, Canva for thumbnails and YouTube banner, a vid IQ for title, description, and keywords. Note all the useful links and discounts will be in the description box. process i like to break them into two tiers. So the first tier is if you want to make money through fan funding such as super chat super thanks channel memberships youtube has a lesser requirement for that you need to have 500 subscribers three valid public videos within the last 90 days and you need to have 3000 valid public watch hours in the past one year so take note is a rolling year or you have 3 million valid public shots views in the last 90 days that's for the first year that unlocks things like super chat super thanks and channel memberships but for you to have access to the youtube partner program you need to meet additional requirements for that you need to have 1000 subscribers you need to have 4000 valid public watch hours in the last 12 months or you need to have 10 million valid 
public short views within the last 90 days and that way once you meet this requirement it unlocks this particular tier however all i have mentioned is not the only way to earn money even when you are just starting you can start a print on demand business in line with your content check out these videos to know more or if you are not interested in physical products there are many digital products you can create and start selling Finally, you can go the route of publishing your medium content books on Amazon. I recently tested this side hustle and the result was surprising. You can click on this video here to find out how much I made. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, do not forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on your bell notification to be in the loop when I post the next video.